hi <clears throat> welcome back to my channel um today i wanted to talk about my bookshelves but i wanted to make an introduction video so there we are in front of my two bookcases behind me <laughs> um i have more obviously um but uh those are a few um that i'm gonna show you in the following clips I'm gonna insert clips from earlier <laughs> because I tried uploading this video like a thousand times and um, because my phone broke and uh, a bunch of other stuff happened. Uh, so I couldn't upload it and also the semester started and um, yeah, it was just like a big, <laughs> a big mess. Yeah, um, but now I'm here and um, Yes, this is just an introduction, so feel free to skip this. But also, if you don't want um, to skip it, I'm going to talk about my last reads and my TBR. Just a few books. Um, so yeah, uh, the books I'm reading right now, not TBR, but reading right now and my last books. But I'm going to talk about the books I'm reading right now are All About Love by Bell Hooks because I need the advice. <laughs> um, no. Uh, yes. Um, where were we? Um, it's a good book. It's by Bell Hooks. Like, she's really famous for her liter liter lit uh, her, um, her work, her works. And um, yeah, she's nice. She's cool. Like, I haven't met her personally. <laughs> Unfortunately, she died last year, I think. Um, but yeah, she's written, I, I like her writing style a lot, and she's really acclaimed in the academic field. So yeah, there's that. All About Love, which the um, really nice cover. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next book I'm reading right now uh, is this one, which is really underwhelming, The House in the Pines. It's a thriller, and uh, it's I, I didn't know anything about it <laughs> until I read it like a few chapters and read that and heard that some people have talked about it before and like the synopsis and stuff and, and it's interesting but it's just basically weird. basic like it's 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 really basic writing and uh it's a basic thriller i don't know maybe i'll i'll like it more if i continue reading it but i don't know wouldn't recommend the cover is nice that's why i bought it <laughs> which is always bad <laughs> if you buy if you buy a book just by its cover then and you know nothing about it. Mistake. Mistakes were made. I can see that now. Um, well, the next book, like these are the books I'm reading currently. Also, yes, there are only two, which is like not that many. I just realized that. But usually I read like four or three books at a time. But yes, <laughs> I've read so many books this year that I just took a little break. So yeah. Those are the two I'm reading right now. Um, I've read... What have I read? I've read a lot this year already. But I've read... Um, Ninth House recently, which stood out to me. And also Happy Hour, which was nice. But Happy Hour is like just a casual book about people in their 20s and uh, publishing their diary in the end, which is nice. But you know, <laughs> go off. Um, it's interesting, it's cool, but it's like there's not much substance to it. With her, with Nine Faust, um, on the other hand, there is substance to it. Um, and there's a second book that's what I actually wanted to talk about. Um, coming has, has come out, but I haven't read it yet. And the cover is. Ooh. A lot, um, <laughs> um, because it's thriller and like fantasy and stuff and occult and cool. Um, but the first book I read, like Nanifels, was really great. The second book, Bandi by Dugo, the author that wrote Shadow and Bone. But the first book was great and uh, I really enjoyed it. So next read is gonna be this one. And probably Daisy Jones and the Six because there's the Amazon Prime series. And I really want to watch that, but I feel bad if I don't read the book before <laughs> the book just one just one book <laughs> um but i feel kind of bad for that because it's just i don't know 
I'm just the type of person that has to read the book before. Well, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy my rambling um, bookcase, bookshelf tour. And uh, with that, I'll leave you to the rest of the video. And whenever I upload this, if ever, no, <laughs> um, <laughs> I will. Um, but have a nice day and bye-bye. Uh, Hi, <clears throat> I'm back, back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do um, a bookshelf tour, tour because last time I <laughs> didn't really show you all my books. So yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> um, show you my books in more detail. Yes, so I hope you're all well and uh, it's another perspective me behind the camera which is way nicer for me <laughs> but yeah well um i'm gonna show you my books and talk about them briefly and yeah let's get into it <laughs> um the first book i have over here i want to show you um it's the complete novels of jane austen behind this old picture of a lady that fits the book and it's just beautiful like look at it Look, <laughs> it has gold edges matching my mirror and this nice interior, really nice. I like these, like I said, these really nice gold edges. It's so beautiful. Okay, <laughs> I'm moving on from that, that beauty. Um, this is my desk with all my little trinkets. Like not my writing desk, but just a desk and uh, Polaroids and stuff. Um, and there are two more books on this desk, <clears throat> which are this one, this really beautiful edition. There's also a postcard behind, but I can't show you because it's YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit, it's interesting, but it's, yeah, it's not for YouTube, I think. <laughs> Um, but this book is an edition of um, The Never Ending Story. I showed it in my welcome video um, before and I just love this edition because I read it as a child and it's so nice. <laughs> I, used, I bought it used and uh, because I couldn't find it anymore but I can't, could find it in the end. It has no, no writing on the spine which is interesting but it also has this Really nice decorations and this artwork. Which I don't know which by who it who's who it who's it who it, uh, who made it, but nevertheless, it's beautiful. Um, and this text in different colors. Like look at it. And also my personal highlights. I will show you in a second. It's all in German, so good luck. <laughs> But yeah, my highlight is, let's see if I can find it, these first letters. Like they're all decorated like that. With like the green and the red that go all, all, all the way through the book. And they're like just stunning. Okay, and um, the chapters are in this old, old lettering, old German lettering, which is really nice. And yeah, let look. look. <laughs> it's magnificent. Yeah, uh, moving on from that absolute beauty. <laughs> I think I like it even more than this one because it's a bit more personal. I read it as a child, as I said, and I was just in love with this edition. Yeah. Um, yes, moving on from that. Uh, it's an edition of a non fiction edition of a history book by Orlando Fix. I talked about it before, um, but it's the tragedy of, of a population uh, again in German. <clears throat> and it's, it's about the Russian Empire and the fall of the Russian Emperor, Emperor. And it's really interesting and really thick, as you can see. And it has picture, pictures in it. 
beautiful. So yeah, it's a bit, it's 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 nice. It's easy, easy. It's not really easy to read because it's that thick, but the chapters are not that long, and it's really interesting and really informative. Yes. Well, that's that. <clears throat> I haven't read it all. <laughs> of course, I haven't. Um, I think I'm only there. As you can see, I'm not that far in. <laughs> um, but I plan to read it eventually at some point. And it also looks a bit worn. Because it's, I don't know, I got it from my dad. So yeah, I don't know what he did with it. But there it is. <laughs> he read it. He read all of it. Impressive. Yeah. And those are the big books in the room. Well. <laughs> um... Moving on from that, I'm gonna go to my writing desk, which is over there. And it's just my um, university book I'm currently reading. <clears throat> it's interesting, um, but it's also a bit like it's really, it's not, it's nonfiction and it's like not, it's, it's difficult to read, um, but it's also very, very informative. Yeah. It's by Patrick Curry, and it's by the library, the um, University Library of Vienna, as you can see. Yeah, it's interesting. Let's just say that. It's also, um, it's very philosoph philosoph philosophical. So if you want to read it, and if you want to know more about ecological ethics, then here it is. <laughs> Moving on, um, I have a, pic a picture book, I like a book but of stickers over there. Like it's just stickers, <laughs> not really a book, but yeah, stickers, really nice. I got them for my laptop and I actually used different ones because they were more beautiful. But these are the ones I chose and yeah, I'm really proud of that. <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> then underneath that is a cookbook actually. I don't know what it does on my desktop or my writing desk, but it's over there. It's actually a really good cookbook. Um, it's a Mor Moroccan, um, like Morocco, like a cookbook about Morocco in German, actually. So yeah, but it's one of my fa favorite. Like it's a really good. Like it's one of the best cookbooks I've ever read. Like I don't know. I don't judge cookbooks like on quality. Like yes, of course, but like I, I don't know if I can per se. Um, because I'm not a cook. <laughs> Um, I, I cook in my free time, but I'm not like a licensed cook, but this is like it really like the recipes in there are really like, I don't know, authentic in a way and really interesting. So yeah. And pictures are also really like, um, one of the nicest pictures of Morocco I've ever seen. I've been to Marrakesh, like Morocco once and it stuck with me and that's why I bought this like I got this cookbook. I actually got it from the, like I had, like I saw it in the library <clears throat> when I was working there. And then I just chose to buy the book <laughs> because I was that impressed. So yeah, that's that. Uh, moving on from that. Oh, there's one more book I want to show you. Like my next read is this one, <laughs> which is Happy Hour by Malu Granados. Um, I don't know much about the book, but someone said it's really interesting. Like it's really like the title is nice and the cover is nice too, and it's about people in their twenties, and <clears throat> it's supposed to be really really interesting. So yeah, happy hour, really nice cover. Uh, moving on from that, I have my book shrine. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's quite it's 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 in a glass case, and I actually don't like it because it's not made for books. As you can see, because you can't really see the edges of the books and all of the books from outside. So I have to open it up, but yes, there you go. The light is coming from there, so it's a bit yeah difficult to see. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> um, first row is like, um, how can I say it? <laughs> Not really ordered in a way, but I just put this skull um thingy like skull mug over there because it's nice i got it in denmark on a halloween fair and yeah it's over there it's nice um and beneath that there's some 
books referencing death. <laughs> um, but actually, this one's not like it's not like dark or something, but it's just, yeah. Can you see the connection? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's over there. This one is a nice book, actually. It's, I can recommend this. It's funny and it's nice. Everyone in this room will somebody, some, someday be dead. So, yes. Interesting title. <laughs> um, and it was actually really funny. So, yeah. Um, beneath that, my, one of my favorite books um, by Louis Edrich. Um, I think all the other books are good too, so I have to give them a go. But this one is very nice, like really intricate and um, yeah, nice. I talked about it in another, another video and I can't really describe it. You have to read it, but can recommend. And underneath there's Bunny and Milkman. All of them I've read. And Bunny is really nice. Like it's really quite, quite an experience. <laughs> it's about resurrection and stuff fitting to the mark. And cults and really nice. And Milkman is about um, uh, people in, in Ireland, like I think at the time of the... Um, civil war and stuff. Yeah, really nice. Um, <clears throat> then there are books that I haven't read, <laughs> which are all of these, like these three. Um, I just displayed this one because it looked good and and obviously it's a really popular book, so I haven't read it though, so can't say much about it. <laughs> um, Next to that is um, the new one of the newest books um, by Stephen King. I think it's the newest book that's currently out. Um, it's fairy tale, <laughs> and it's just stunning too. Like the new covers are really nice. Like the color scheme is nice. Yeah, I haven't read it, so yeah. Um, and the last book I haven't read in this row is *Any Man's World* by Ed Young. Which is a non-fiction book <clears throat> about animals. Yeah, there you go. And the cover is stunning too. Focus, yes. Yes, and I had heard a lot of good things about it. Like, it's about animal senses and um, yeah, what they tell us. Really nice, really interesting. And the other books I've read, no, I haven't read, no, I actually haven't read those two books. <laughs> and I also can't really keep my camera still, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but if I can, those two haven't read. Because this one is in Dutch, actually. <laughs> um, I accidentally bought it in Dutch. It's a lesbian story about two girls in Dutch. Um... Like, I can understand a bit, of, a little bit of Dutch, but not really, like, that much. So I haven't picked it up <laughs> so far. Uh, next to it is a story about academy and college. And uh, stories. Uh, it, the, the title is really ominous, so maybe it's about praying and hunting. And, yeah. It's a, I think it's Dark Academia, but I've read the first chapter and didn't like it, so... You, know, you don't know. I mean, okay. I haven't read much. Much more. <laughs> um, next to it is Notes on an Exec Execution, <clears throat> which I have read. And it has a nice cover. And I'm not going to go into all, all this detail for every single book. <laughs> because it will take me an eternity, I just realized. But I've, I'm just going to show you this one. Um, yeah, the cover is really nice. It's a fox, and uh, I love foxes, so yeah. And it's about um, um, someone who murdered, like, um, killed um, a bunch of young pe young young women, and um, he's on death row, and he tells his story um, backwards, like what happened and why it happened. And it's interesting. There's no moral judgment or something, which is a bit off-putting to me. But it's not not like you ha you don't have sympathy for the killer Jews. Like it's there's just no no judgment in general. So yeah, that's that. Like the vibe of it is really like neutral. Yeah, I liked it. Can recommend. Um, the next row is um, fantasy mainly and uh, some like horror or fantasy elements. I think I haven't read it. I just know. H.P. Lovecraft, obviously. Who doesn't? 
And I also know that Stephen King likes it, so <laughs> of course. Um, that's why, no, it's not why I like, I like it, but I haven't read it yet, but I want to. And this cover, like, look at it. It has golden edges too. I like the golden edges in here. Who doesn't? Yeah, there's that. Nice. Next to Atlas 6 because it's gold too. And the theme of this is like green and black and blue. <laughs> Um, but mainly green and black over there. And it's just fantasy and uh, some books I haven't read yet. Like, I haven't read this one. A fantasy book about like with wolves in the title, which is interesting. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got recommended that one, so, but I haven't read it yet, so. And the Caraval series in its eternity, in its eternity. Is it internet? Like, yeah, it, it is. It's like it's all all three all three um, parts of it. Yeah, and Shadow and Bone, of course, my favorite fantasy series. Not my favorite, but one of my favorites. <laughs> um, the next season is coming up, by the way. So, yes, that's something. Um, like I have the collector's edition, which is really nice, and. All three parts over there, like the first one to three. Yeah, really stunning. And underneath that, we have um, an incomplete sheet shelf um, because I, I plan to um, stack some more books in there, mainly the Witcher books because I don't have all of them yet. And uh, I'm also waiting on the more beautiful editions to come out because I have this one and there's not a beautiful edition, but there's also like those paper bags. Oh no. <laughs> Which are just hideous. Like hideous. I'm sorry, but and there there are even more ugly ones like out there. So this is one of the more like neutral okay-ish books, but nothing compared to like these ones that are also illustrated by um fan fan drawings. That are all like described in here yeah so there's that and next to that there's the um there's a retelling um of the um <clears throat> king arthur series king like series not series sorry but king arthur story um and it's in ya so but it's really nice it's like hot trash in a way <laughs> um but it's about Genevieve. it's really good like really nice and really interesting like i don't know adjectives <laughs> what other adjectives are there to describe it just it's it's female empowerment it's nice it's about genevieve and it's also a bit different than the original author um story yeah <clears throat> there's that i'm just gonna put it here because this is a bit in like not really stable <laughs> It's gonna fall. There's not that many books, so <laughs> just moving on. And there are also no books underneath there because if I close that, you can't see them, and that's not the point of that. <laughs> like I really don't like this 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 case, like this the shelf thingy, like this. Yeah, it's just it's in, mm, mm, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Um, there are some more books on the window shelf, window panes here. Specifically, this one and also Halloween. <laughs> um, I got that in Denmark too. Um, but specifically, this one, which is What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, Taryn Kingfisher, I think her first name is. <clears throat> but it's um, a horror book I was really impressed by. And also, this is just really nice. I'm gonna um, insert a clip where I stamp um, this amongst other books, and yeah, it's just really beautiful. So you're gonna see it there in more detail. But yeah, there it is the house. <laughs> um, I can recommend it's a retelling of the um, um, Asher story by Edgar Allan Poe, <clears throat> and it's just really nice. So yeah. Uh, moving on from that, I have a stack of miscellaneous books. Um, I can recommend Kismet. Um, that's really good. Like, really not that known. And uh, a book that deserves more recognition. About a crime story and uh, 
yeah, wellness themes, really interesting. Yeah, moving on. <clears throat> oh, there are two books I haven't read um, so far, which are Seven Days in June and uh, The Villa. And um, they're just stunning, the covers are just like really nice, if it can focus. <laughs> <clears throat> autofocus isn't that great apparently but yeah those are just really nice like nice looking books and also this like the premise sounded really interesting it's about villa and like crime and uh, yeah just it's really nice and it's inspired by Fleetwood Mac and the Manson murders and all of that <laughs> and the summer, infamous summer of Percy and Messy Shelley spent with Lord Byron at the Lake Green and Geneva Castle, apparently. So yeah, that's the premise, I think. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I have yet to read those, and I think I want to read them in summer, because they just scream summer to me, like the covers and all. Yeah, moving on. Um, <clears throat> my biggest bookshelf in my, my room currently is this one. That you can see in my background um, plenty of times, like I think in some of my videos, and I can't, I can't focus, but yeah. <clears throat> and it's like underneath there are some areas that are not like up to date because this is like my Skullduggery Pleasant um, collection, which is really like something I read in middle school, and um, some Warrior Cats, yeah, which I am not reading right now. <laughs> Um, but like really treasured and stuff and adventure time like look at it a little um uh coin coin thingy for with, with jake the dog yeah <laughs> um moving on um up there we have legends and lattes the book everyone's talking about beneath that are some really ancient books my parents gave to me <laughs> Um, like, I don't know what they are, but I think German things and, uh, science-y things. Yeah, really ancient. <laughs> I'm not gonna put them up because they're, like, really old and, like, they're, the condition of them is not the best. So, yeah, some of them are in good condition, but some of them aren't. So, yeah, I'm not gonna risk them falling apart. <laughs> um, but next to that is, like, something I have to remove from that become, because I think it's really ancient. Because I had this, I had this for like years and years and years, and I never use it. Like Victoria's Secret, sorry, fragrance. You're gonna get tossed. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, over there is God Killer, a new book, which is just stunning. Like the cover is nice, and the book is actually really cool too. Like it's a new fantasy story. Um, about um a God Killer, like a girl who's killing gods. <laughs> Because they're like evil and stuff and abuse the power. Um, and the gods are actually mostly they're like shriny things, like all like they're gods that are like connected to shrines and it's like a bit with folklore and stuff. It's really nice. Really good fantasy book. They said it's a stress standalone, like the, the author said that, but I don't think so because the ending is really open. So I think there are more parts coming. So yeah. Anyways, moving on. <clears throat> Uh, next to that, like underneath that, is um, one of my favorite books, I'll Give You the Sun, by Jenny Nelson, <laughs> which is just stunning, like, covers really, like, vibrant and um, interesting. And uh, it's it's a nice book, I can recommend. It's about siblings and um, moving on, on part from, from your sibling and uh, what that means, and then moving back, like, getting closer to each other. And it's really nice, a nice YA book. Next to that is a book I haven't read yet. Like, I've read this, but I haven't read this. And I think they're fitting together because they have like a similar cover. And behind that are some books I haven't really sorted. Like, I think those are Vampire Diaries. And this is a vampire book too, so yeah. Um, but those are Vampire books, Vampire Diaries books. Not the full collection, but some of them. And I haven't read them in years. <laughs> can rec I don't know if I can recommend them. Because they're like just hot trash too. So yeah. <clears throat> um, as I said, this is a vampire book. Um, a new release by an upcoming author. Um, I think she, she got TikTok famous, which is not a good sign. Like, I don't know. Some books are good from there. Like Song of, of Achilles um, got recommended through, the fic uh, through TikTok. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, but 
some other books which haven't been that good have also been recommended by TikTok. So take with that what you want, but the cover is nice, so I bought. <laughs> um, and also like really nice um, hardcover books too, so why not, I thought. Yes, look at it. And I think there's something underneath that too. I don't know, I can show you too. too. Yes, there it is. Like a heart. Ah, really nice. <laughs> um, not as pretty as this one. Like the interior of this one is even nicer. But I'm going to show you in a second. I've top kept this because I've read it. And it's about anatomy and like, I think the 16th century or something. Don't quote me on that. But a century where this, where, um, um, Medic, med, medical work uh, on humans wasn't allowed and I also actually I, I really like those stories because they're like um, <clears throat> interesting in a way to me <clears throat> but yeah this is the interior and it's just like it's shining and it's nice yeah and it's a heart too so really similar in a way so I put them next to each other Can I recommend this one if you whatever if you want it's it's set in Edinburgh too and has a gothic vibe to it. It's not the best, but it's actually not the worst too. So if you want like a nice to read easy like an easy easy to read book, I would recommend this one. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> um next to that is my Murakami collection and some perfumes. Murakami. Over there. <laughs> I have mm, five Murakami books, um, and this is part one of the series, like the IQ, or what, one and two, I'm not sure actually, but I think it's one and two of the one, one Q84 series. Um, it's stunning, it's it's nice, but it's I hate that it's just the first two parts, and just the third part I have to buy sub separately, so that's, that's a bummer, <laughs> because it's just this big on its own, so yeah. Um, I've read half of this um, because Murakami just writes magnificently, um, except for his sexism things, but we're gonna ignore that <laughs> conveniently. No, I'm not gonna ignore that, obviously, but like, um, he, he writes really nice, like, in general, and that's why I read it. And his sexism things, like, they get swept under the rug often, um, which is like something... I don't know if I can condone, but nevertheless, his books are really nice, like fantastical and magical realism stuffy and like written really nicely and unique in a way. So that's that. I can recommend this one specifically because I liked it the most. The others I didn't like as much, except for maybe this one, um, The Killing of the Commendatore. This is the second part. I have the first part too, um, but the first part is not the hardcover edition. It's this um, a paperback version of it, so I it's not as pretty. But yeah, this is the second part, and I think it's one of my most favorite like editions of every um, any book ever. So I'm gonna show you. Like it has this. Like, I love this. If it's like shining through, it's like, whoa. And then underneath that, like, this really nice color changing thing. Yeah. Beautiful. Stunning. Yeah. Pretty awful portrait. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> the only thing I have um, to say about the German editions of Murakami, oh, and also the edges. Oof. Yes. Um, the only thing I have to say about the German edition, uh, German translation of Murakami is that I don't really like it. <laughs> like it's translated by Ursula Greve, um, and I'm not gonna call you out or something, <laughs> Ursula. Um, but it's really like the translation is really like superficial, and it's, it reads like a children's book. And I'm not not sure if Murakami intended it for it to read like that. So I don't know if it's the translation per se, but the German editions are really like 
not that good. And that's unfortunate because I'm sure he's a good author. But just the way he writes, like German editions of it, read really juvenile in a way. And I think that's the fault of the um, translator. I'm sorry, but just going to say that. Maybe. <laughs> and it's all, it's, they, are all, they have all been translated by the same translator. So for her, I don't know. Maybe there's something going on. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, uh, moving on from that. <laughs> Slight criticism. In a respectable, like, I respect your work. And obviously, like, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's, yeah. Um, anyways. <clears throat> um, next to the Murakami books. I'm going to put it back. I'm not going to cut anything because I'm way too lazy sometimes for that. But maybe maybe I will in the future. <laughs> if, you, if you're watching it and it's cut, then yeah, consider consider it an improvement on my, my ways. <laughs> um, but next to that, I have um, The Little Prince, one of my all-time favorites. It's just like, it's... It's a children's book, but it's actually like an inspirational book. Some don't like it because it's a bit basic, <laughs> um, but it's like very nice. Like it has drawings in them, like original drawings by the author, and the author actually disappeared above above a desert with his plane. <laughs> so it's all very interesting and ominous. So yeah, these just stunning illustrations. Like look at it. Yeah. Okay. That's that. Um, and then there are just some some Penguin Classics books, um, some like collection of like um, writing ut utensils and um, uh, just like Ameri uh, um, Afro American literature, which I really liked. Like Open City, I can recommend, really nice. And also the author, like the Nigerian author, like American um, African American Nigerian author, Deja Cool was like really cool like i just he makes he he takes pictures and he's a photo photo photographer and um, a really good one and his books are good too so yeah there's another one by him which is not as good so i can recommend this more this is like a non-fiction um about nigeria and nigeria and this is about this is a fictional story like no it's not fiction it's about his story in new york i think um, like, um, how he deals with city life and stuff. So it's non-fiction too, but it's more personal. And this one, this one is personal too, in a way, but it's more about politics in Nigeria. So, yeah, it's interesting too, but I like, just like this one more. Moving on. <clears throat> um, underneath that is like my shelf with a book on Denmark. <laughs> um, a child, a child. A picture from my childhood <laughs> um and just like classics in the background um some editions <laughs> um it's an interesting story for that some editions of the count of monte cristo and uh the three musketeers i had more pretty one but i gave that to um someone in my apartment and uh he never he will never read it probably <laughs> i don't know if he will but he said in a year i, I don't know so that's that. Um, but I just bought the other, like, a different adi edition um, afterwards. So, yeah. If you have that book, you don't have to give it back. But it would be nice if you did. <laughs> Which you will probably want. But, and I, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it would be funny if you want, but I'm not saying anything. You can do what you want. Um, next to that, it's like a stack of books. Um, uh, just miscellaneous books and books by um, uh, Scandinavian authors um, and also Atessa Moschweg, um, who's like an author I really like, um, an, an American Persian author. Um, like her books are really nice and I really, really enjoyed them. And um, this book I got recommended by a friend, which is also really nice, but I haven't read it yet, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, actually, I, I think I'm similar to <laughs> um, the person I gave the book to. <laughs> I never read books I got I got recommended. <laughs> um, yeah, but at least she didn't give it to me. She didn't 
physically gifted to me. But anyways, I wouldn't have read it probably if she would have gifted it to me because I have so many, many, many books on my TBR. Yeah, I'm lost too. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna read it in the future eventually. Uh, so it's there. And I actually read the first chapter of it, like a few sentences, and it's really nice, like written really intricate, intricate uh, really nicely and really stunning. Yeah. There's that. Next to it are some books um, that I haven't read, and one book I have read, this one. Um, this one is like um, called The Anatomy of the Night in German. <laughs> it's The Anatomie der Nacht. And it's a chill, like an, a YA book, one of my first YA books I've ever read. And it's actually a bit more dark than a typical YA book, because it's about anatomy and like a gothic story and a love story between two two, two people who um, rob graves, I think, <laughs> for sciencey pur purposes, of course. Again, so yeah, <laughs> it's really interesting, really gothic here and cool. Um, underneath that is a postcard from a friend and uh, <laughs> um, a plastic gun I bought in Denmark. Um, <laughs> I didn't buy it per se, but it just got it. It was like it came with a comic, so yeah. Um, there are some books I haven't read, it's like I read this one, it's a YA book, really popular. Um, I didn't like it that much. I think I haven't finished it actually, <laughs> um, because it's a bit. Um, I've, I think I've been too old when I at the point of reading this. So yeah, this is a bit juvenile, and it's about a crime that's happened when all of these people, like the four people, like four of them, um, have been, uh, are in one room and like someone dies, and they're gonna figure. They have to figure out who the, who who has done it, and no one is safe. <laughs> And they all, they actually think some one of them like I don't know they they all suspect the other person, which is interesting. But I wasn't as as interested as the premise was laying it out for me. So yeah, <clears throat> um, moving on from that. Um, like I said, the postcard from a friend. And next to it, it's like a stack of um, books. I have some of them I have read, some of them I haven't, and also. A book for my, my class, Literature Theories um, of the 20th Century, um, underneath that a book about rabbits, but it's actually about um, the Second World War, <laughs> and it's not that good, um, because it's like a bit tragic and stuff, and sometimes I'm in the mood for that, and sometimes I can read it, but sometimes I can't, um, because it's just too, like, it would mm, drag me down too much, so yeah. Um, underneath that are some books, some one book I got gifted from the library, like not gifted per se, but I could choose that because it would have been sorted out and um, I just chose that before they threw it away. Um, yeah, because it just sounded interesting. It's about occultism and yeah, gothic too. <laughs> um, and um, above that are some books, like some green books that have nothing in common, like one is like a short stories collection and the other is like a novel, um, but they're just green and yeah. I like this one. This is nice. This, like not nice. It's about it's about cannibalism, <laughs> um, but I, um, it read nicely and it's written really good. So yeah. Uh, moving on from that, there's one fiction, non-fiction book too. I'm just gonna say that I haven't read that, but I think it's about um, a spy. And it sounded really interesting. The cat. Really ominous. I think it's about some like a female spy who's been caught um, and hasn't been like she I think she hasn't been caught for mm, more than one century. Like not century, but like more than ten years. Century. Sorry. Maths. Um next to that are just some random books. Um some of them I haven't read, some of them I don't want to read, so maybe I'll just like maybe un I unhaul them um, in the future. But yeah, there are some books um, not really worth talking about because I don't really like any of them, <laughs> um, especially normal people. I'm one of those people who didn't like normal people. I'm sorry. <laughs> some of them, some some people like it, like like her her book, Sally Rooney's like, but I didn't. I think I thought it was like <clears throat> there was way too many mentions of sex and. Uh, 
like just generalizations and just boring like normal book the book was normal <laughs> um that's all i'm gonna say um underneath that there's one more shelf i want to show you um from this one that is um this just some books i really liked like night bitch is really nice um um identity is a german book about identity and um finding yourself and um colonialism and post-colonialism really nice um next to that is another book by otessa moschweg maybe i'll put it to the other otessa moschweg books i should probably <laughs> for co um coherence but yeah um and there's actually another book that's not really a novel um but actually like a non-fiction book about polaroids really nice can recommend it's, yeah it's nice but the polaroids weren't the best so maybe it's not that nice because <laughs> that's actually the point um, <laughs> um but i just like the idea of it because i love polaroid polaroids and i think that's a an art that isn't as, as appreciated as it should be so yeah well um i'm gonna come back to i think i skipped this uh, shelf here but there are just not that many books i really like <laughs> um except for this cover maybe a touch of darkness which you can't see it because it's too dark in here ironic isn't it um oh i skipped this one too oh <laughs> but yeah um i didn't like the book because i just read one chapter and it was not inter not interested in it anymore so yeah i don't know if i'm ever gonna continue it it's YA and it's really basic, so yeah. Um, I skipped this one, I just realized. <clears throat> it was just a collection of Dostoevsky books. I think almost all of them. <laughs> but I haven't read a single one. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've read Crime and Pun Punishment, of course, but not from this collection. I think it's in there, but it's just German translation, not that. Um, somewhere in there. But yeah, I'm not really, really a big fan of Dostoevsky and Russian literature, for, except for some um, exceptions. So yeah, my Polaroids in there, some of them, not gonna show it to you now because it's a bookshelf tour. Yeah, not a Polaroid tour, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's one book I want to show you in particular, from this one, this shelf, um, that's in Watermelon Sugar, which is really nice. Um, also the cover is nice, it's just a paperback, but it's actually, pretty cute and it's a book that's been talked about a lot because it's part of the hippie scene from the 60s i think yeah don't quote me on that um and it's a bit chaotic chaotic and all over the place um but also really nice like the title says all that you have to know about it in watermelon sugar <laughs> like what is watermelon sugar yeah <laughs> that's just the point <laughs> but yeah moving on from that i'm gonna go over over there and i have to put some wood into the fire later because this is not looking as good so maybe i'll take a break put some wood in there and gonna and i'm coming back later so if you, if you see the second part it's after i've put some wood in there so bye bye <laughs> Oh, hi, <clears throat> I've put some wood in there <laughs> um, and uh, it's gonna burn in a second, like or in a minute or sometime. Um, but until that, until then, I'm gonna continue. It's not gonna look like it's burning in a second, but I'm just gonna leave it. There's my cat. Look. <laughs> hi. But yeah. <clears throat> So um, next to that is my witch shrine, <laughs> which is just a collection of some witch books and um, some plants, like a cauldron, some essential oils from a brand called The Witchery. You can't really read it because it's like faded um, on their cat hairs. <laughs> um, but yeah, some stones and like... Yeah, some miscellaneous things. Stones over there. Like I bought a kit with gemstones, which is really nice. 
um yeah just my witch shrine not really that many books so <laughs> moving on to actual books <clears throat> and my cat <laughs> who wants to be the star because she's she really like every time i make a video she's there <laughs> she jumps into like every video and is like oh hi yeah. <clears throat> i just had to pause my video because someone knocked on my door <laughs> uh anyways continuing from there some more books and i actually like this part of my my room really not, really my, like a lot because it's like as you can see there's a lot of like light in there like natural lights really nice anyways books those are my books here and um mainly like the main focus of that like my most favorite book from here is like um butter i think which has a really nice cover um and it's not many people have uh, talked about it um but i love it like it's about a female um um like per, a woman 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 is interviewed by another like um like a reporter and uh she in interviews her and um um, why she has done what she has done, like she's killed um, some men <laughs> um, by poisoning them um, like over their food and it's about food culture and uh, yeah it's interesting like it's it opens a lot of like um, discourses about topics that haven't been talked about in Japan and it's, and it's, it's also centered around Japan so yeah I love Japan there's that uh, moving on from that um <clears throat> And my beautiful cat. <laughs> um, there's just some books I really liked, like My Best Friend's Exorcism. <laughs> they have the nicest title. <laughs> um, by Grady Hendrix, like horror and uh, some more horror horror, like Fifty Six Days, set in, in current like in current, like centers around a couple in quarantine in, during the corona times. And it's actually interesting. Like it's a good good crime book. <clears throat> like really, really thrilling and stuff. Yeah, can recommend. Um, and underneath there are just like some 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 general fiction books. Hi, <laughs> star. Um, I really liked the, the transition um, baby, which was really really interesting. And uh, yeah, some more books that are um, great. Uh, moving on from there. I have my knitting assortments, which is not sorted, <laughs> um, as you can see. Um, but up, um, above that, I have some books of my favorite author, T.J. Klune, who's like a, a fiction author. Like he writes YA fiction and fantasy, and also some really nice books with really nice titles. How to be a normal person. <laughs> Um, which is about the opposite of normal person, <laughs> or that like it's just it just it's, it's a story about someone who's like not fitting in and uh, and how that's okay. Yeah, a coming of age story in a way. Um, above that is a manga I really liked, like the third part of it <clears throat> about cats. So yeah, that's just really nice and can recommend. A story of seven lives. I think it's called. Like it's just the German version is Eine Geschichte von sieben Leben. So yeah, there's that. And actually, a book which is really nice. The cover is really nice. Oh, no, <laughs> if I can get it out. So yeah, there's that. Can recommend too. It's about it's about um, the food 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 uh, industry and stuff. And uh, really interesting. So yeah. There you go. <clears throat> um, next to that, I'm gonna go through that more quickly now, I hope. Um, I just some books I liked, like some um, books that have come out recently. Um, for example, Lonely Castle in the Mirror, which has come out, I think, two years ago or one year ago, I don't know. Um, I really like that. It's a coming of age book too, about pe um, people who are like, it's similar to Narnia in a way, like some some um uh, like children who are going through like a portal and so another world um to escape their troubles really nice can recommend 
yeah. And some colorful books, like, yeah, it's really nice. And Florence and the Machine, over there. <laughs> Not a book. Uh, next to that is like um, the Heartbreak book, the non-fiction book about heartbreak and what it's what it is and stuff. Um, with really nice, interesting insights on it. Um, next to that is Hearts of Leaves. Um, a really interesting book about a house that's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Can recommend to you. A horror book, so be aware. <laughs> It's about it's a bit scary, so yeah. But it's also really nice. Like I haven't like I have been just mildly scared. It's not scary in a way that you will never read it again. Yeah, it's just mildly scary. Yeah, really nice. Can recommend. Pretty edition. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> um there's my collection of um the Tales from the Cafe. Um which are just those three books um, about time traveling and stuff. Really interesting, really cool. Um, short little books with nice and beautiful covers. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, time, time traveling in a cafe and uh, where you can sit on a, on, a, uh, on, on a stool and travel through time <laughs> while drinking a coffee. Um, but there are some rules to it and it's really interesting. Yeah, can recommend you. <laughs> basically all of my books I can recommend like most of them some of them I haven't read maybe not this one because yeah that's a hellfire <laughs> I haven't read it but the things I heard about it um yeah maybe it's good but I highly doubt it and all the story like all the background information about the abuse and stuff and like how she glamorizes abuse no thank you I'm sorry <laughs> it's just there because I haven't read it yet and because I gave, someone gifted it to me. Yeah. Um, underneath that are some books that are red. <laughs> That's the theme here. Red. Um, I have read Van Vanishing Half, which is great. And I haven't read all of the other books. So that's quick. <laughs> um, next. <laughs> um, but I heard some good things about Kichot. Like, it's about... it's. It's name. It's it's mentioning like it's similar to it's 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 about a modern retelling of Don Quixote. So um, obviously that sounds that sounds interesting. <laughs> um, underneath that are the Heartstopper um, graphic novels. I've read all of them in one day. <laughs> Love them. Nice and easy. <laughs> Some candles. And uh, the more books that are not really worth mentioning because I don't want to make two hours of books I like uh, like um, I don't know like I don't want to talk about books for two hours <laughs> because I have already talked about them for one um, so yeah um, just quickly uh, a shelf of books that I really like like that are really beautiful like, um, this one is a really beautiful edition of the invisible life of Eddie LaRue <clears throat> next to that is like um, are some books um sorry i'm using the zoom too, way too much <laughs> um next to that are some books i enjoyed um which are um sea of tranquility which was nice and also station 11 by the same author really nice too um the other books i haven't really read <laughs> for example um well be beauty i haven't read and uh uh yeah I have read Arsenic and Adabo, which was okay, not the best. YA. Sorry, my cat is doing some noise. I'm gonna come back to you. Bye bye. Um, next to that, there's a Funko Pop. <laughs> um, uh, a Twin Peaks Funko Pop, actually. <clears throat> and he's looking over there. I'm gonna fix his head. It's Agent Cooper with a coffee, because I love coffee. <laughs> And because he's like, yeah, it's just, he was my favorite character and like the main character, obviously, <laughs> of Twin Peaks. So yeah, he's over there looking nice. And yeah, and also a little edition of The Little Prince is over there too. Like a mini edition. Cute. Yeah. Um, next to that, like I said, some books I haven't read. Um, surprise. <laughs> um, those two, like The Anonym Anonymally by... Um, Irvi Tellier, 
French, sorry, and some other books like The Bell Jar, which I haven't, which I have read, and by Sylvia Plath. <clears throat> really nice, really interesting. Um, I think I've said interesting a thousand times, but it's 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 a good book about depression and um, as far as that can be a good thing. But it's informative and it's um, it's also like about a girl who's like getting a bunch of chances and uh, in a certain industry and um, like works on herself but is really unhappy. Yeah. And how can how that can be um, like happening to someone at the same time? Like how someone can be unhappy and having a lot of opportunities in their life. Yeah. Uh, above that are some YA books. Um, like We Are Okay, which is good. Like a good YA book I can recommend. Um, by uh, like about a college girl who's lonely. Um, yeah. And Cleopatra and Frankenstein, which is really good, and a, a book I haven't read yet, and I've seen so many times, um, uh, and still haven't read, <laughs> which is The Lost Apoc Apocryphary. Apothecary. Um, yeah, can't say much about that, but it's interesting, I think. Uh, if I haven't read it, I don't know if it's interesting, <clears throat> but I hope it's interesting. Um, above that, there's Yolk, um, which I haven't read yet either. Which is has a nice cover, like hands intertwined, and hands actually spread from one from the others, like the cover from the cover to the back, which is nice. You can't see it there, and I'm not gonna take it out because the whole part, like the whole tower would collapse. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, next to that is like there are some books about uh, like some from Turkish authors, and uh, like I like Orhan Pamuk a lot, and also Elif Shafak is on there. Um, and some Arabian authors, I think he's Arabian, like, um, uh, I haven't read that one yet. A, a white country, is it? Like, ein weißes Land in German. Um, yeah, and also like some books I have read and really liked. Um, for example, The Power. Some people haven't liked it, like, I, I've heard, like, it's, it's an interesting book, but some people haven't really, like, appreciated it that much because it's a bit basic and I can see that but nevertheless that's nice yeah moving on from that um my Stephen King I'm gonna stand up my Stephen King shelf all of this shelf is Stephen King there <laughs> um uh yeah it's I I've read a lot of them <clears throat> haven't read it s yes, over there yet but i'm planning to read it sometime i've read the stand which is another big one of his um it's over there yes um i haven't read the salem slots and some others of others from here but i've read most of them so yeah planning to read all of his books yeah wish me luck um above that is a shelf with some classics for example lolita a really nice edition of little lolita um, I didn't like the book, but the edition is nice. <laughs> the book was disturbing, to say the least. <laughs> um, but yeah, the edition is really nice. Like, it's an old edition. I found it in a book box. Nice. Yeah. It's falling apart a bit, but that's to be as understandable if it's from the 50s, I think 1950s. So, yeah. Or in the 60s, something. Um, anyways, uh, next to that is an edition of War and Peace. I haven't read that. <laughs> I'm planning to read it in some like sometime in the future because it's like just a classic. Next to that is Ulysses by James Joyce and some other classics. For example, Pride, Crime and Punishment, my absolute I didn't like that book. <laughs> I hated it. Um because it's just it's just I don't know. It it, it apologizes for violence against women and yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe another book of his I would like, but I'm, I doubt it. <laughs> Anyways, that's Dostoevsky. Um, next to that is uh, another book by a Russian, a Russian author, which I really liked, Ivan Goncharov Oblomov. Um, it's a different vibe, vibe than <laughs> uh, Dostoevsky. <laughs> Way different. 
um, more relaxed. It's about a guy that doesn't want to go out of bed, like ever, ever. <laughs> like doesn't want to leave his bed ever. Um, and it's just fantastic. It has a tragic ending, which I didn't like because I just wanted to go for go on for for like the whole book. But you can't get all everything you want. Anyways, uh, next to that, there's some um, editions I really like. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, holding a camera, like, even if it's just your phone, it's not that easy, apparently. Um, <laughs> um, next to that, like I said, are just some editions I really liked. Um, for example, Dune and the hardcover edition of Pachinko. Pachinko is really, a really nice book about like, generations um, and... Um, and generations of families in Korea and it's just really nice and I wish I could show you the whole edition but I can't because again if I put get this out I would have to sort it all like yeah like of course like it would be uh, quite a hassle <laughs> and maybe I'll do it like I'll maybe I'll show it to you in the, in the future <clears throat> next set is Mexican Gothic which I really liked and also a book I really like too like The Fisherman which is not as popular um, it's about a fisherman, <laughs> obviously, and some horror and some like really interesting stories. It's like, really disturbing in a way, and uh, but also really, really like captivating. Yeah. Above that is a really beautiful edition of If We Were Villains. Um, I wish I could show it to you again, but I showed it to you in another video, like my prettiest editions or something. Um, above that is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, obviously. Which way is up? Wait. <laughs> there you go. Or if just lightning in red. I'm gonna put this back if I can. Next to it is just the Bartima, Bartimaeus um, trilogy. Um, a fantasy um, trilogy. I think it's a YA, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's ten, like it's written for younger people. Yeah. Really interesting, like really sarcastic golden. <laughs> Um, yeah, I read those in my in my childhood, and I just bought all of them to f fulfill my childhood dreams. Like, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, and next to that is like two books from my from the Macmillan's Collector's Edition. Like, I think that's what those little books are called. Like, they're just classics in that format. Um, for example, wait, there's some noise in the background, but I'm gonna like again. I'm gonna continue in a second. <laughs> See you. Um, these are just editions from um, the Macmillan's Collector's li Library, I think. Edition, like, yeah. M for Macmillan's. <laughs> um, they're just really cute and nice and tiny um, and have those like golden edges, all of them. The other is like Moby Dick by um, Herman. Herman Melville. Sorry, <laughs> I said that like I was like I didn't know his name. Like, yeah, for a second I didn't remember his name, but it's just it's Moby Dick, um, uh, and it's I haven't read it yet <laughs> because it's just it's a bit thick, even in that small edition, obviously, but even more in that small edition, obviously, um, and um, but yeah, I'll come around to it eventually, Moby. Moby Dick, I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> nice cover of the whale. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, above that is a pretty edition of Darling. Um, a YA book, I think. Not sure entirely. By Kayla Ankrum. And just a trinket thing. And a light, light thingy. <laughs> That's a disco ball. <laughs> um, that makes noise. Like, can... It has lights and... Uh, you can also connect to your device and play music from like your iPhone <laughs> and it's fun just a play thing and next to that is like another funk Funko Pop from Twin Peaks obviously <laughs> um there's Laura Palmer a bit dark because it's like the dead Laura Palmer but yeah <laughs> I have another Twin Peaks um figurine and also a candle like this little light thingy thing yeah and uh, just another book i really liked the cover is nice it's the girl who fell beneath the sea 
really nice, really nice cover. And just some more fantasy books like Never Nevernight um, trilogy and uh, the um, Joe Abercrombie. I don't know what it's called in, in its entirety, but two of the parts of one of his trilogies. Anyways, the first part I've gave I gave to my cousin. Um, so yeah, that's missing. <laughs> but it's it's really nice. It's not nice again. <laughs> it's grimdark, um, which is a dark fantasy in a way. Uh, next to that are just some books um, about witches and magic in general, and uh, a nice book about like just song lyrics and uh, art thingy things um, by Florence Walsh from Florence and the Machine, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, tarot card thing, two of them. Um, and that's that's all of it. <laughs> that's my bookshelf. Um, over there is just a cal calendar, a Danish calendar, of course, because they in Denmark, my my exchange and stuff, and because I love Denmark. <laughs> um, yeah, from March. Mm. If autumn thinks really nice. So yeah, that's that. That was my book bookshelf tour. <laughs> I hope it was not too rambly. Um, as is my trademark. <laughs> nervousness in front of the camera and behind of it yeah um but yeah this is my bookshelf i hope you enjoyed and um until next time bye bye <laughs>